Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to teach sequencing to the second grade. So, it's important for this um, second graders to realize if the sequence is growing or decreasing, right? That's the first thing we want to have them identify. Is the sequence of numbers getting bigger? Is it getting smaller? Maybe it's staying the same. Maybe it's more complex and doing different things. Um, I like to start simple and, you know, give them a simple pattern, 0, 1, 2, 3, you know, obviously what's this sequence doing? Well, it's going up by 1 and have them write that out, you know, you're adding 1. Then you can have them do something a little bit more complicated. Maybe the sequence starts with 2 and it goes to 10 and then it goes to 50, right? What are you doing here? We are multiplying that number by 5. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 5 is 50. This might be a little bit more complex, but this is something that the, you know, second graders are maybe starting to learn is multiplication times tables. So this, you're multiplying by 5. And you can give them subtraction so they see it decreasing. Um, maybe the number line goes, you know, 20 to 18 to 16 to 14 and you're subtracting 2. So it's good for them to be able to visualize this and become more familiar with different patterns and different types of sequencing. I'm Rachel and thank you for learning with us today.